so we just saw um, how to create uh, a demo uh, with uh, Eclipse. We created our first MDSL file, and now you know we we're going to generate some code using Canopy's uh, code generator. So in order to do that, um, you need to log in into the site. So you go to www.canopy.com and you log in in your account. If you don't have an account, you need to uh, register. So I'm going to enter my credential. And I'm going to go to the code generator page. I'm going to select the file that we just created. And you want to make sure that the file has an MDSL extension. You also want to make sure that you've been using the latest um, uh, plugin for Eclipse. Otherwise, there could be some um, syntax error that the current plugin, an older plugin, would have not detected. And um, the, the code generation would then break. So all you do once you've selected your file is just to upload uh, this file to our server, and after a short while, the entire project is generated, and um, we're, we're going to look at bringing all this code into um, Xcode and, and build an iPhone app. So the generation is just completed on the server, and uh, within seconds we should be able to see um, the result. So right here. There's a link to your result, and if I click on it, the file is going to be downloaded. So, as you can see, the file has a, a name that starts with your project name, but we created a token such that nobody can uh, easily download this file while it remains on the server by guessing the name or, or anything like that. So, so that provides some you know, extra safety. And all you do is you save this file to a directory. So we're going to do that. Or oh, actually, we, we're just going to open the archive. So this is what was generated. And in that case, there is no services. So we generate just some uh, basic files with no content when it comes to the MySQL schema or, or the PHP services. Uh, they're, they're not, you know, they wouldn't be of any use. Um, we also generate a balsamic mockup of the file. And, uh, you know, if you want to share it with some people, um, it will basically display a mock-up view of your application. But really what we are uh, looking at right now is all the files that were generated by the code generator from the MDSL file. And as you can see, you know, I would say very few lines of code. We probably wrote about you know, 30 lines of code. It generated quite a bit of classes that, all, that are all necessary for building a, a, an iPhone application. So let's see how we can uh, use those classes. And uh, you're going to see it's very, very easy. So I'm going to open Xcode. And I'm going to create a new project. Um, it's very important that you choose a view-based application. And then you put the same file name for this project 
as the file name you chose for your application and you define in the main element. So if you have demo here, you must have demo in this field in the product name. And if you do that, all the files that are generated will, will uh, overwrite uh, precisely the file that Xcode itself generates when you create a new project. We're going to see that in a, new, in, in a second. So let me uh, Let me create uh, the project in this new directory. And I will resize the uh, Xcode window to make it fit. And as you can see, Xcode has generated a number of, um, of files. And to a certain degree, they're quite similar to the files that we have generated. Actually, the files that we generated are, are superset. You know, you can see the uh, demo view controller uh, files um, and whatnot. And there's a number of supporting files as well that are uh, generated. So basically, um, Canopy has generated files that can be simply copied. And we're going to copy the first batch. Um, so we're going to copy all those files into the project that was created by Xcode. So we're right here, and we just do a simple copy. We're going to replace everything. We simply overwrite all the files that um, Xcode had generated itself. And then we go back um, and copy the remaining files. They are just a second. They are in this project. And we copy them in the English.lproj directory. Again, we replace everything. And the last step to be able to compile, or actually the, there's two more steps. The first step is in the demo directory um, inside Xcode. You need to right click and say add files to demo. And it's going to offer you to go to the demo directory in which we put all the new files. And as you can see, the existing one are great, but the one that were generated by Canopy are showing up in black. So you want to take those files, you know, as a good um, habit, I think it's it's good to copy the items. They're actually already there, so that, that action is not going to have any effect. But, um, you know, if you copy libraries and whatnot, I personally, I like to have everything in the directory because it's more portable. And I just add those files, and now my project is complete. If I click Run, it's not going to compile because we, uh, we use a library uh, that is not coming out of the box in Xcode. So this is what you see here. You have this error. Uh, and it says the um, uh, class mkmapView is referenced, but you know, we cannot find it anywhere. So the way to add it to a library is to go back to the project files. You click on Demo. And then you go to Build Phases. I don't find it particularly intuitive, but you know, that's the way it is. There's just no other way of doing it. And what you want is you want to click on Link Library and add one. And all you do is you add the map 
the LabKit library. And now the project should compile just fine. Of course, we're using the simulator. And as you can see on the screen, it's showing up. And here we go. We have uh, our uh, login screen. You know, we can uh, type a username. Um, I didn't use a secure keyword because, uh, you know, there's a possibility in M MDSL you can just say that the text field is secure and it will, um, the view of the, the, the value of the text field will be obfuscated. The action is, is unavailable because it's just uh, empty at the moment. We're going we're gonna to take a look at that. And uh, as you can see, this is the map view. You know, we have uh, uh, Beijing and we can uh, uh, zoom in and uh, look in more detail. And we have the web view um, where we wanted to show the Canopy website. And here it is, right there. So, so pretty much, you know, we built a, a you know, simple but yet fully functional um, iPhone application in about 30 lines of code. Let me show you a little bit of what gets generated. Uh, let's take, for instance, the um, home view file. Uh, this is the home view controller in which we, we're going to have, for instance, the method that initialize the screen. So we, we can see uh, the username label, the username, the password label, the username text field, um, and all this code can be easily edited. You know, if there is anything the framework would not support, and you absolutely wanted to, you know, you could you could readily edit that code. Um, and if you want to do to build an action, Oh, we didn't add an action to the button, so that's why it's not there. Otherwise, it would show up here. So, uh, you know, that will be for the next uh, next tutorial. We'll start, you know, building more complex applications. But in a nutshell, between the, the previous tutorial where we built the MDSL file and this tutorial, you can build, you know, pretty sophisticated iPhone application in 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 a very short time. I mean, it basically took us. 30 minutes to go over this, those things, and it won't take you much longer to get to that point by yourself. So that's it. Uh, you know now how to build a full application, full iPhone application with uh, Canopy. Um, I hope you'll enjoy it, and you'll build great apps, and you'll let us know about it.